All right. So, um, <clears throat> while I was off camera, I did a little bit of a, let me fix this. I did um like a roller coaster type of thing I'm working on, but I was just kind of dicking around. But anyways, um. <clears throat> so we gotta finish off the zombie. Uh, basically, we just gotta finish his arms um, while this stuff loads. <laughs> uh, okay, here's our zombie. Okay, so we can just go ahead and finish him up. I gotta put this stuff back into my inventory. Um, I think we just need that and that pretty much. Oh, I always do that. Okay. Alright, blah, blah. These take a lot longer than I thought they would. <laughs> Whoops, that's okay. <clears throat> but, um, I was thinking about what the next thing would be, and I had mentioned that I really wanted to take a break, kind of like take a break from doing, um, you know, I'm not even going to worry about making it hollow. I really don't care if things spawn in there. But I'm really not going to worry about, um, <clears throat> um, okay, well, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm trying to concentrate. Basically, I wanted to make, um, you know, like one of these sculptures or whatever. And I'm vibrating. Hold on. Um, basically, I wanted to make, um one of these sculptures and then take a break make a building and then go back to it or you know whatever I don't want to just have like 13 episodes <laughs> straight of just me making you know sculptures so the next thing I'm gonna make is I had uh, gone on Google searched a bunch of um, houses this one is probably gonna be the most complicated it's um hold that thought it's uh one, two, three, four across. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, basically, it's one, two, <laughs> three, four. Two, three, four. Um, it is The House from Up. Uh, I never personally saw that movie. But, um... One, two, three, four. I never personally saw that movie, but I did see that they had a picture of it made in Minecraft. And I was like, holy shit, like, I gotta, you know, I gotta make this. So that's gonna be really hard. Um, at, at least it looks complicated. We'll see, but, um, <clears throat> we'll see how my, Is that an eclipse? <laughs> well, what? Okay. Um, we'll see how complicated it is. Um, I do want to do it and everything. Oh, another thing is I had started on making, um, as you can see below, like, pathways. Um, again, over here, too, in between the buildings, it kind of comes up. And then I was going to make it come down a little bit and connect to that, go through a rainbow, just all around. So <clears throat> I did a little bit of work off camera, like I uh, normally do. <laughs> but, um... I just want to get that going, see how it looks, see how I like it, but I like it, so I don't know if I'm going to make that off cam on camera. I might just, that might just be a project for when I don't feel like recording and I feel like playing that. I'll just um, go ahead and start filling that in and just show you the progress every episode. Uh, so that's what I might do. Um, I did get a request from someone to make a historical monument, and... You have to kind of be specific. Um, when I say I, I'll take, like, um, you know, um, suggestions of what to make, I, I don't want you to just be like, oh, you know, make a building. If you have, like, a picture to show me, or um, if you have a specific building you want, or a specific sculpture of something made, then let me know. But I can't just, like, pick any historical monument and just, you know, make it, um, it's just a little bit easier on my part if you just tell me exactly what, um, you want to see, and that way, um, I can make it, <laughs> but no, I don't, I really don't mean to sound like a jerk, but I, I really just need you to be kind of specific if the person who sent me that comment is watching, you know who you are, it's not a bad thing, I just, I just need you to be a little more specific and send that to me. And I might not be able to get to it right away, but I definitely will eventually. 
Um, <clears throat> but again, if you're going to send me anything like that you want me to make, um, please just know that I, I really need you to be a little specific. Hold on one sec. It's, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, protruding. Ugh. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyways, uh, trying to think of what to talk about. Okay, so you know if, um, something really funny happens but it's not supposed to be funny and you kind of feel bad for laughing but at the same time you can't help it? Well, okay, so my humor is a little bit mean. If I see someone get hurt, not like seriously hurt, like breaking a leg or like getting hit by a car, but if I see someone fall, I will start cracking up. Okay, hold on. Real quick, my zombie is pretty much done. I might go in and you know, fix him up a little bit, but for the video portion at least, that's about it. I do want to um, start on uh, this house, so let me... See what materials I could be using. Um, I need. See what colors I have. All right, I will need wood. I'll need some glass. I'll need um, fence. I'll need yellow wool. I'll need cyan wool. I'll need light green. And I think I'll need red. I'll put the walls together. And uh, torches. And then I'll need a bunch of the other different colors of wool for the um, balloon itself. But we'll just start with this. But anyways, um, you know what? This thing is actually going to be floating. So I'm going to have to make a uh, one of these so I can actually start making it and see how high up we want it to be. But uh, yeah, so anyways, how, what I was talking about is you know how like um, something funny happens and it's not really supposed to be funny. Well anyways, I had told you guys that I waitress and um, for a job and um, what had happened was this, uh, a bunch of older ladies came in, and I don't mind old people as long as they're not rude, but I, you know, as a waitress, I deal with a lot of cranky old people. So, um, <laughs> these ladies weren't exactly, like, slim, but, like, that's not where I'm going with this, but it has to do with the story, so keep that in mind. I'm not being, like, a, you know, like, mean or anything. I'm just, just keep in mind that they weren't very slim. So they were eating whatever, they didn't bother me, they were cool, um, but then they had to leave. So I'm, you know, I'm doing my job and whatever, and I hear one of the old ladies kind of freaking out. So I look over to make sure they're okay, and uh, one of the fairly larger old ladies um, was stuck. And, like the tables, they... Uh, <laughs> They're kind. Of, they're connected to a table, so you can't re like they're benches, uh, and they're connected to a table, so you can't really move your chairs in and out. <clears throat> it's just kind of at a reasonable distance from the table. And uh, I looked at them, and I didn't. I didn't know what to do. I was like, I was trying so hard not to laugh because it was just. It was really funny to watch. I know how mean that sounds, but. I <laughs> If you were there, you'd be laughing too, but like, I wasn't trying to laugh in front of her because I didn't want her feeling bad, but the second I stepped outside, I was almost in tears, cracking up, like, oh my god, I couldn't help it, but I felt bad. They got her out, um, but I was like, man, like, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do in situations like that, you know? I, I felt really bad afterwards for laughing, but at the moment, I was just... I couldn't help it. A bunch of the other customers were laughing too, and again, they weren't like laughing, like being mean, like, oh, ha, ha you're fat, you got stuck. But the whole just scene was funny, watching a bunch of old ladies try to pull another lady out from the table, and she's spazzing out like she was freaking, freaking out. 
And uh, I felt bad, but they got her out before I was able to go over there and help anyway. So she wasn't stuck very long, but she... <laughs> so yeah, that happened. But uh, I don't know. I thought it was just kind of something that you guys might want to hear about. Uh, I always have stories from work, so um, you'll be hearing a lot of that. <clears throat> but there was... Um, well, we're on, while we're on the subject of stories from work, uh, let me just tell you a few like funny ones that I've um, <clears throat> been through. But one's kind of shorter and the one's kind of longer. But <clears throat> the shorter one, uh, we'll start with the shorter one. So I'm smart, but I have my moments where I lack common sense completely. And um, I had mentioned that I'm from the Boston area and clam chowder is big down here. Now I hate you know, any type of seafood, clam chowder, whatever. I have never personally seen clam chowder. Um, <clears throat> but I know... Um, oh, no, no, I lied. I've seen it before. I lied. Take that back. I was thinking of something else. I'm sorry. So I've seen it before, and it's kind of, like, whitish. I don't really know how to explain it. But anyways, we sell coleslaw where where I work. And keep that in mind. So this um, <clears throat> older gentleman came in, and he... Uh, he was ordering. He was trying to pick out what he wanted for sides and everything. And um, I happened to be on register, and he's like, "Oh, do you, you know, do you guys have clam chowder?" And uh, I was working with my aunt this day, and <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking for the record, but I was like, "Oh, we don't have clam chowder, but we have uh, <laughs> coleslaw." <laughs> He just kind of looked at me weird. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Did I say something wrong? And he started cracking up laughing. I had no idea what like, what was so funny. I was just like, all right, this guy's, you know, losing his mind. <laughs> and my eye comes over because she overheard me. And she was like, Shayna, did you really say what I think you just said? I was like, yeah, did I say something wrong? She's like, clam chowder is nothing like coleslaw. <laughs> I was like, oh, oops, oopsies, that was, uh, my bad. But, yeah, so that was pretty funny. That's, uh, one of my many very blonde moments, um, of my lifetime. But, customer was laughing. He thought it was funny, so I got a tip from it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that I have, you know, many moments like that. But, I, it, it, it was an accident, damn it. Like, I didn't mean to, but, yeah, so, I sounded like a total idiot to him, but, you know, it was funny. Uh, sun's starting to go down. I gotta kind of sneeze. <clears throat> so, yeah, so, anyways, I am starting to build the house from up. You'll see it come together more, um, the more I work on it. But, uh, yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Um. 